Hey everybody, this is Truckin' Van Life. And me and my boy Harlan are trucking across the United States. We're watching Trucker Josh vlogs with Josh, Brittany, Diesel, Chevy, Frankie, Peter, and now we get to watch Baby Hero. We have a special guest on this vlog today. The Lord himself has joined us this week on the road. And how does that make you feel, Diesel? It makes me feel fantastic. It makes me feel important. It makes me feel loved. It makes me feel very happy. Look at my chair. Anything else? It also makes me miss mom. I'm a little sad for that, but mostly happy. It's going to be a good day, man. Good morning, everybody. You guys remember that uh, throne I had built for Diesel when we were doing city work and that, that Peter built the little day cab? Well, I kept that little platform that I made. It was a little bit of junky, it was sort of made of junk wood and I sort of just threw it together, but it worked, right? It worked good and it continues to work for us. Look at this. Diesel, go check it out. First of all, wait, 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 Diesel. This is like that soft blanket I bought a little while ago, super soft. Underneath there, there's two more blankets, so it's like super soft. It's fit for a king, fit for a lord. Diesel, you want to go tro show me? You want to go show me your bed? Come on, up, up. Come on, come here, come here, buddy. I was just comfy, man. I just got comfy, thank you, mom. Want to go in your seat in the front? Go in your seat. Go in your seat in the front. Go show them what it's like. It's comfy up there. It's okay. I know there's not a lot of room in here. Go on, buddy. Go to your seat. Wow. Look at that throne, eh? Isn't it nice? It's very nice. My dad built it for me with his own two hands. He's a wizard. So now you can either lay, lay like this and gaze at me like you like to. And creep me out. I just like staring at you. You're a good, good guy to look at, man. Easy on the eyes. Well, I'm a lot to look at, I'll tell you that. I'll agree with that one. <laughs> so now he can lay out this way. You know, before he used to always have his front paws on the ground and this seat was just way too small for him to sit on. Now he can lay straight across here. I noticed on the way down here, we're here in Carmen again. There's a lineup of trucks. That's my uncle Rudy. And there's Mike over there. And uh, I can't tell who's back there yet. There's a bunch of trucks there. But on the way down here anyways, he would lay down on just across the bed here and he'd just rest his chin on that uh, ledge down there, right? And look out the window. <laughs> He's very tired though. I, I woke him up and he was... I know you were all comfy back there, buddy, but I wanted you to show him your bed. This week we're doing more of these pipes, more of... Uh, see him right there beside Uncle Rudy's truck. Some over here. We're going to Buxton, North Dakota, which is just south of Grand Forks. It's not as long of a drive. Uh, it's gonna be a, a bit of a shorter day today, but that's okay. I can enjoy some time with, with the weasel here then. And uh, we'll be back here, I'm thinking, tonight. Once again, I gotta wait for confirmation until this afternoon, but uh, we're still uh, gonna be busy with this pipe yet until the ground freezes. We've had a couple of frosts come in, so I don't know how much longer we'll be running here, but we'll be running our tails off until then. At one of my Thanksgiving gatherings this past weekend, it was Canadian Thanksgiving, so we had a gathering on Saturday, on Sunday, and on Monday. Lots of food. I ate so much. It was all so delicious. Uh, but our Aunt Mary, on Brit's side, uh, reminded me that last year at Thanksgiving we had like a foot of snow on the ground look at it now eh? much better this year you still got some green in that grass there see that a little bit of green there's some trees still have some 
<coughs> excuse me some trees over there still have uh some green leaves so all in all this year has been uh, a lot better than last year i forgot that we had snow that early we had a lot of snow last year a lot of snow and then some flooding in spring because of all of it so we don't need so much snow this year i'd settle for a white christmas just just get it all on the ground a couple of feet of snow right before christmas let's all enjoy the christmas holidays and then, you know, it could be gone by New Year's and I wouldn't care. My trailer looks much like this right behind me. I have exactly the same thing. 53 foot step deck. Same thing you've been seeing in my videos for the, the past little while. These are my favorite kind of trailers to pull. You see Mike over there has another one just like mine. And uh, I believe Pedro's a little bit behind it. I think he had something to get done this morning, but he's going to be here soon from what I heard. It might be out of here by then. It doesn't take too long to get us loaded. It's gonna be bam, 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 and we'll be on the road. We're all loaded up with our rolls. Diesel, you ready to do some trucking? We're all loaded up. I'm gonna feed you some breakfast first though. You hungry? You hungry? Oh, you look hungry, man. I know I'm hungry. I'm gonna feed you first, okay? Just rolls down here. Looks like you got some water in there still. That's good. That's good. There. Just pull this out of here. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, are you excited? Yeah. Breakfast time, man. Breakfast of champions. Yeah, grab you a good old scoop out of there. Ho oh, oh. ho. You bet. It's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be good. Just let me finish it, okay? I always make it into a little soup for him. It's easier on his old gums and teeth that way. I'm gonna throw that in there. Okay. So we just put a little bit of water in there, soften it up a bit for him. Throw that out. Over here, we always give our dogs salmon oil with every meal. How many squirts am I supposed to give? 16, you're three pumps, three of them. Holy smokes. There you go. He loves that stuff. And then, where is it? Where did I put it, dude? Here it is. A little bit of seasoning on top. He likes his meals to be seasoned with liver. Yeah, man, you want to try some of that? That's the good stuff? Yeah. Man, you've gotten old. That's not a problem, though. You've just gotten so much more calm than you used to. It's a good kind of old. It's a mature, distinguished, gentlemanly old. It's a good boy. Okay, then I just uh, sprinkle some of this on here. There we go. There we go. And then I won't move the truck until he's done eating. Otherwise it sloshes around on them. So in the meantime, I'm gonna grab my phone. Make sure I'm on off duty. I think I forgot to change my duty status. Of course I did. There we go. All right, Diesel. It's all yours, man. Go for it. Go for it, bud. Truck's a little bit small, but we make it work. There you go. Oh, yes. Yes, look at that tail wagon. That's the good stuff, right? That's the good stuff. Mom made sure I packed all the good stuff, which reminds me I forgot to add something in there. We also give them glucosamine supplements every morning. Yeah, I got these too. I almost forgot, man. Six of them. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Here you go. I'm add those in there. Yeah. Helps with his joints. That's the good stuff. All right. And then while he eats, I just surf through YouTube or TikTok, if I can remember where I put my phone. I just got it. Oh, I'm sitting on it. There we go. So it is a little tight in here. He doesn't come with me on every trip now. Some days, uh, some trips he stays home with his family, but I figured it's a short week this week. We got Tuesday to Friday here. He hasn't been with me in a couple of weeks. 
Ah, just felt right. Felt right. As soon as he's done his breakfast down there, we'll get him up on his throne. And we'll make our way down to Buxton. We got a lot of time today. It's a two and a half hour drive down there and a two and a half hour drive back. Y'all done there? Got it all? You ate everything. Oh, mom is gonna be so happy to hear that. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, you drink some water there and we'll be on our way, okay? You guys ready for this? I'm ready to do some trucking. I had three days off. And as much as I enjoyed the, the time off, I really enjoyed seeing family on both sides. It was, I always love family gatherings and I love the holidays. Uh, the next big one is Christmas, obviously. But first we have Remembrance Day, so let's not get too carried away, but I'm very excited about Christmas. Ah, a lot of good food. A lot of good food, but uh, it's always good to get back in the truck and get the wheels rolling again. Feels good, feels right. You liking your throne, Diesel? I made it just for you. That is a throne for a weasel. Only. But you might have to share it with Chevy for one trip, maybe. Maybe, probably not, but maybe. Is that okay? I guess so. As long as I'm here more than him, you know. That's good. We have to learn to share, right? We have to remember to share. It'll always be your throne. Chevy doesn't like the truck anyways. Uh, if you're new, Chevy's are uh, big. He's like a golden shepherd. He's half golden retriever, half German shepherd. He's a big boy. And uh, he's Brit's, Brit's protector at home. He protects her pretty fiercely. He's a big teddy bear, but uh, <laughs> he's very protective of Brit. And he doesn't like the truck as much. He didn't grow up on the road. Diesel here grew up on the road with me, as all of you know. And uh, he loves coming on the truck. As long as he's got a nice comfortable spot to lay like this. But I, I, I'd like to take Chevy sometime too. Maybe for my own selfish desires. But uh, I'd like to spend some time with him too. Maybe he's gotten over his uh, dislike of highway. We don't, you, know, you don't know unless you take him on a short one, right? So one of these days I'll take Chevy on a short one and see how he likes it now. It's not that he hated it. I, I can just tell he'd rather be at home, stretched out on his bed. But now we got a bed in here, right, Diesel? Got a big bed here, got another bed here. This one's just for you. Okay. Oh, great. Great. Just gonna plug this bad boy in here. Oops, gotta make sure that this, uh, I have an auxiliary cable here that plugs into my stereo. This truck's uh, a little older, it doesn't have Bluetooth. And if it does, I haven't figured it out. I want to get a new deck in here yet that has Bluetooth capabilities, but we'll hold off on that a little bit. because I, I want to get a, a nice one that like comes out a little bit, but it might block that. So maybe, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I want to put a sound system in here yet. Uh, a couple of subwoofers in the back. I don't want to be that, that guy who pulls up to the stoplight rattling your license plate. Not that, but a couple of subwoofers just for a nice full sound. This auxiliary cord is getting old already. It's... That's why I want that Bluetooth so bad. But... Yeah, I want a nice full, full body sound. Like I want, I want a good stereo in here. Okay. My paperwork's actually cleared at the border already, so we're ready to rock and roll. This hose likes to settle on the flatbed. It, so we'll go about, you know, 15, 15 minutes down the road, I'll stop, pull over there and make sure it's all good to go. We'll probably be back here before the sun goes down. Unless I stop in Grand Forks to hang out. <laughs> Maybe we'll go for a walk.
ding, ding. There is a turn approaching. Busy street here, wow. So if you haven't been watching my video for the past, past little while, uh, this is Carmen. It's where we started our days recently. Small town in south central Manitoba. Straight south of here is eastern North Dakota. Give you a little bit of a sense of where I am. We're going to go down Interstate 29. That'll be that. Oh, yes, they're doing something here. They got a big old crane. Diesel, what do you think that is, man? What are they doing out there? Ooh, you looking at that, Diesel? Look at this. Carmen, up and coming. I've got one, two, three, four, five, including the guy at the window in front of me. The lineup's not too bad today, it's about average. A little more, maybe a little shorter than average, actually. I've only been here for three minutes, and it's moving pretty steady. Weasel, you ready to go visit America? America. Right, Diesel? The United States of America. You ready? I was born ready, man. I was born for this. Super excited. I'm gonna ride an eagle, man. I'm gonna catch one, I'm gonna ride him. You do that, bud. I trust you. Okay? You have fun. I'm gonna tell them all you about my pet goose. What? You have a pet goose? Yeah, man. Every Canadian does, don't they? You have a pet goose. The cobra chicken. I don't know what you're talking about, Diesel. We're not going very far. I've only got 160 kilometers left to go. That's about exactly 100 miles. We go 100 miles into the U.S. and then turn around and come back. It is a bit of a short trip, but I, I know the questions are coming into my comment section already. And yes, it is worth it for us. It is worth it. It's actually uh, it's a nice trip to have. I'll see you guys on the other side. Here we are, Diesel. How's it feel? Is it everything you hoped and dreamed it would be? You haven't been to the U.S. in a while. How is it? It's wonderful, man. North Dakota, be legendary. They're talking to you, Diesel. I know you don't gotta try very hard, but you gotta remember, in North Dakota, you gotta be legendary. I say that every time. I am the old Weezu. I only know how to do that. I only do legendary, only. Maybe I should be in North Dakota. You're pretty close. You're a Manitoban, which is almost the same thing. Very little, little, just a little difference over there. I told you guys in a video last week, this is Pembina, North Dakota. It's the border town uh, up here in the northern part of the country. This is the oldest settlement in North Dakota. Settled in 17-something. Used to be like a trading post on the Red River. 
Uh, they were actually came down from what is now Canada and settled this here. It was a trade route going north. They didn't want to go uh, much further south in here because there was a uh, hostile tribes, the Sioux, south of here. And uh, different time. Okay, Mr. Grain Hauler, I might pass you, but you keep fluctuating. Keeps going slower and then faster, slower than faster. I know that as soon as I pull out to pass him, he's gonna wanna go faster, so I'm just waiting if he'll see if he'll do it on his own. Gonna give this bus some space to move in here anyway. You know what? Okay, I bet you this bus is gonna go fast. They usually wanna go fast. So I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna go in behind him. And I bet you anything he's gonna take off on us. There he goes. You drive on these highways long enough, you start to understand the speed limit or the speeds that most types of vehicles drive. Those buses, they'll go as fast as they can. They have one goal in mind and that's time. Trucks like me, if they got Canadian plates, they're usually not going faster than 65 mile an hour because to drive in Ontario and Quebec in Eastern Canada, you have to be limited. You have to have a limiter on your truck at 105 kilometers an hour, which is 65 mile an hour. So if you come up behind a truck who's going slower than you want them to, and you see a Canadian plate, you know that they're most likely most likely speed limited. And other guys, whether they're American or Canadian, often stay between 60 and 65 mile an hour for fuel economy. That's, that's why I go 62. And we're doing 62.7 right now, I believe. And that's, uh, we're going straight into the wind here. That's just to save a little bit of fuel. So they have a nice wide open passing lane here. Anybody who wants to do the speed limit, which is 75 mile an hour or 120 kilometers an hour. Left lane's wide open for you. Hammer down, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna save a couple of bucks. I don't go slower than 62 though. That's my slowest speed. Some guys, they do 55 miles an hour, like 90 kilometers an hour. It saves even more fuel at that point, but it also costs a lot of time. Now, time is money. You gotta find the right balance. How much time you wanna spend to save money? And how much money can you save before you're just wasting time and losing money? Here we are. I believe they're gonna wanna unload me over there. And of course my engine fan kicks on as soon as I'm on the, the dusty gravel lot again, right? Engine fan doesn't kick on all the way down here or anywhere else if I'm on a paved lot, but if I'm on a gravel lot, whew, engine fan kicks on and dust goes everywhere and trucks filthy right away again. Oh, there's Mike getting unloaded. Figured I wasn't too far behind him. That was Mike just passing by. We're at the Grand Forks Flying J. Took the weasel for his walk. His mighty, mighty, very lordly walk. It was magnificent. I looked amazing. Everyone was looking. I, I know it. I saw them. They were like, who's that? Who's that guy? He looks like a lord. I am. So I just grabbed a little snack here. Uh, hot dog. I'm not going to eat too much because we're going home. Got this empty trailer here. I'm just gonna head home for the night. I should be at the house by around six o'clock. It's a short enough day that uh, I can I can make it home yet and be back there in the morning. It's not too far out of the way, a little ways, but 
I was just thinking to myself, I was gonna go sleep right at the customer again, be there first thing in the morning. But I was really thinking to myself, uh, Jake, another guy I work with, uh, was saying he was going home. He lives around the same area in Steinbach and that area as me as well. I was like, huh, maybe I should go home too. I was thinking to myself, you know what? If I have the opportunity to go home, why am I not going home? Most of the time we're way out on the road somewhere. It's just, it's not even an option to go home for the night in the middle of a trip, right? In the middle of a week. But if I have the opportunity and it works out with my hours and everything, well, why not? Right, why not? I'm gonna go park the truck and trailer. Head home, have an evening, have supper at home, maybe watch a movie, relax a little bit, and we'll leave from there tomorrow morning. What do you think of that, Diesel? I think it's wonderful. I do some trucking, now we go back home. Don't tell me you're tired of trucking already, man. It's only been one day. I'm old now. Let's not waste another minute. Nice Pete. I like the color, it stands out. It's not for me, I like the blue that I have a little better. It's more of a darker blue, but whatever color that is, is it teal? Is that the color of that? Doesn't look bad on that truck, it looks good. down Karen we're gonna stop the red light so yeah I don't know what I would have done like I, I could have gone to the customer stayed there you know edited my videos enjoyed my evening there by myself but why not go home back there by 7 30 tomorrow morning again so i'll have to get up around 5 a.m but that's ah, worth it if they have the yield i have the green arrow I love these American interstates. They just make sense. These wonderful on-ramps. It's like, oh, I wish we could catch on to that. It's one thing. Diesel, be careful, my hot dog's there. That's my hot dog. Hey, get your own hot dog. Hold on, buddy. <laughs> I put my hot dog on his seat there. We had a very strong wind coming out of the west that was trying to push me onto the shoulder all the way north. So I went up to Morris in Manitoba and I took Highway 23 eastbound. So the wind is pushing me along here now. I'm gonna take Highway 59 north. Highway 59 is a little bit more sheltered then Highway 75, so I'm hoping I can have less wind to deal with for a shorter amount of time.
straight. First try, every try. <laughs>